Hello and welcome to the Tejano Traveler. I'm your host, Wally, and today we are at the Bandera Natural History Museum in Bandera, Texas. Now, Bandera is located right in the middle of the Texas Hill Country, and it's surprising to find a art museum and a history museum of this caliber in the middle of nowhere. So definitely check it out if you can. The recently added gallery is Spanish Colonial Art, which is a pretty impressive collection. Definitely museum worthy. It, I mean, I'm gonna get in trouble for saying this, but it definitely deserves to be at an important place like the Met or some other huge gallery. The collection is impressive. It's got a lot of interesting art from the colonial era, which is mostly religious artwork. But as you can see, it's in perfect condition. It is awesome to look at. And from talking to the ladies there, they said it was donated by a resident that used to live in Mexico and decided to live in, near Bandera and had all this art. So I decided to donate it to the museum which I think is pretty awesome because this collection is impressive and I'm glad it's in Bandera and nowhere else like the Met or someplace else because you know small towns deserve their their fame too. Um, I myself have become really interested in colonial art and all the different versions of Virgin Marys and St. Joseph's and St. Michael's that you can look at so it's pretty cool definitely come check this out it's is a must if you are into colonial art. The rest of the museum is the natural history select, uh, collection. There's uh, interesting skulls that you can look at, some fossils, some things that the kids can enjoy and learn a lot from. They have a big collection of, I guess they're African and Southeast Asian masks, which are pretty cool to look at. And then they have these dioramas of animals in their natural habitats. And this happy looking bear. Hey, I'm a bear. Yay. Um, they're actually pretty well taxidermied and everything. And they're posed in interesting ways and they have places from Africa, the Arctic, swamps, you name it, they have it here. And it's pretty good, especially if you have kids that want to learn more about animal life. And you can't really get close to certain animals and zoos are mainly sanctuaries now. So this lets you get enough close look of what the animals would look like. My favorite is the Arctic one because they have the polar bear with the northern lights right behind it. And shaggy bulls. <laughs> of course, there's something similar to this in um, Buda with Cabela's, but I kind of like this presentation a bit more. Because they've got this engraving of ice age animals and whatnot. Plus I got your other animals that you can look through and a mock Quetzalcoatlus, which is one of the biggest flying animals ever. Look at that Rodan looking thing. And then something for the kids that they'll love is outside. They've got real life sized replicas of dinosaurs like Stegosaurus and others. The kids can pose with them, they can look into their eyes and wonder what life was like having to run away from these creatures before being gobbled up. There's Velociraptor, which is overrated. But it's got some pretty cool animals that you can look at. Look at those paws. There's plenty of pictures you can take. Some of them are more artistically modeled, but it's still pretty, pretty cool, except for this Smilodon. I don't know, I just, you can't get into this Smilodon. You got the Mammoth, and among others. 
so make sure to go visit the Bandera Museum. The natural history is definitely worth a stop, so go check it out. Thanks for watching.